Here we have Samsung's Galaxy G7 Prime on the right and Huawei's Y7 Prime on the left. Both are the mid rangers where G7 Prime costs around 29,000 rupees in Pakistan, while Y7 Prime costs 25,000 rupees. Both of these devices feature octa core processor, Y7 clocked at 1.4 GHz, while G7 clocked at 1.6 GHz. Y7 Prime has metallic back panel with rounded frame as you can see. Samsung J7 Prime also has the metallic back panel. Both of them have 5.5 inch display, but Y7 has only 720p resolution, which is perfectly alright in most cases. It weighs around 165 grams, while the J7 Prime weighs 167 grams. If we compare the profile size of both, Y7 Prime is a little bit larger in both dimensions. If you look closer, it is slimmer as well. Sorry about the focus, but you should be able to see what I am talking about. I think we should board them up now. Here we go. If we further talk about the features, both devices support fingerprint scanners. Y7 Prime has it on its back, while the J7 Prime has it embedded in the front home button. Design-wise, both of the devices are good and give nice feel in hands, but J7 Prime's design is more regular within its own family, whereas the Y7 Prime seems sleeker to me. Here we have J7 fully up on the lock screen, but I should have mentioned that J7 is not fully set up while I have been using Y7 Prime for quite a while now, so don't take it as a comparison test. While both the phones have same size displays of 5.5 inches, J7 Prime has a sharper one with 1080p display. Y7 Prime has only 720p but it has larger battery of 4000mAh while the J7 has only 3300mAh. In addition, Y7 Prime is running Android 7.0 Nougat while the J7 Prime is still running Android 6 Marshmallow. Just in case if you want to verify. What else is here is the 3GB RAM on both of these devices. Samsung doesn't display RAM information in about screen but you can find that in its Smart Manager app. If we look for storage information here, it only has 16 GB internal storage while the Y7 Prime gives you 32 GB, which I believe is more attractive factor than a 1080p display. Y7 Prime has a 12 megapixel camera while the J7 Prime has 13 megapixel. But first, let's check out how the camera interfaces are done from both of these devices. Literally. Huawei has the more intuitive camera interface, with more easy user experience arranged in consistent manner from one device to the other. Samsung has put some quick toggles right above the viewfinder, including the resolution switcher. On Y7 Prime, you can change resolution by going through settings. G7 Prime offers some live filters which are also present on Y7 Prime in some more variety. If we go to settings, Y7 Prime has a lot more options specifically for still photos. On the other hand, G7 offers a list of common settings for photos and videos. You can turn on grid lines, review pictures. Y7 Prime has more specific options to choose for still photos when you are in photo mode. On the viewfinder, Y7 Prime has a video switch. J7 Prime has it as well, but it instantly starts recording which is not too good seriously. You will tap video button once again on Y7 Prime. Y7 also offers specific settings for video, but resolution is most important anyway. J7 Prime offers the same in the settings menu, but Y7 Prime has more options on the lower end, including QVGA and MMS compatible video resolutions, which are of no use today. 
There are some modes J7 Prime offers but Y7 Prime also have them in more variety. Manual control on Y7's camera is much better and usable than J7's. Pro Photo on J7 only offers a few exposure compensation. EV from minus 2 to plus 2 with a full stop interval, ISO only up to 800. And only some presets of Y balance. While on the Y7 Prime you get real close to manual control over the camera. There is metering mode. ISO can be set up to 3200 in manual mode but auto can go up to 4000. Then there is shutter speed which can go down to 8 seconds for long exposures in night. Exposure compensation also has a wider span from minus 4 to plus 4 with full stop intervals. Then you can set focus to single focus, continuous focus and manual focus. Manual focus provides slider to set focus range from macro distance to the infinity. Another important one is the manual white balance with all common presets but also with Kelvin temperature value. Back to other modes. J7 Prime can take nice 360 degree panorama shots. While Y7 can only take 180 degree but it takes them with double the resolution compared to the J7. There are more modes to try but you know must head to us other comparison video to see the camera quality of both these devices. Give your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to not miss out any further reviews and comparisons.